All right, folks, so now I'm on scene. I'm actually gonna be doing a bike repair for a Bowflex Velcor. I'll go ahead and show you the bike. So this is on this location and customer gave me approval. Now this bike, we're gonna to have to actually take off a few of these screws right here to remove the plastic. Then we're gonna be changing out this speed sensor right here. I'll give all the uh, information on the description um, as to what I'm actually doing and also a couple other photos I'm going to be putting in at the very end so watch the whole video. Okay, so on this one, we're gonna have to remove these three screws. Make sure to keep these together. Extension for this one. Okay, uh, second set of three. First set of three, second set of three. And I'll show you right there. I've got them separated first set, second set. And then now the last set of three. One. And the last part is the two on the back. Now, in a perfect world, that would be it. But it's not a perfect world. So, one, two, three, first set. One, two, three, second set. One, two, three, third set. One, two, and the last one. All right, I was in the garage, so there's natural sunlight. Um, but this is the last screw right here. And then you can remove the last portion of the shroud. Okay, so we removed that last screw on the inside in there. Now you can carefully take this whole piece of plastic off. And I'm just gonna move this. There we go. Now, now we can get our fingers in there, and I'll show you what it looks like. Put this on forward facing. So, now we're forward facing. You gotta take this off, remove uh, the zip tie, and then replace this right here, these, three, these two screws. So, to do that, it's quite simple. Just pop this off. Some people can, if you get, I apologize. Some people can, if you get their razor knife, in that pin very carefully you can pop it out and still keep the zip tie i'll go ahead and give that a shot just so you notice though i did take off the shroud right here completely uh just made it a lot easier to get in there especially for this video Also, I'm going to put in the description what this is. This makes my job so much easier. 
So I can literally put this in, put it in the drill, come on, and then I can go from any angle and screw. So, Now it's in. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. And then whatever slack we've got left over, we're gonna loop it together, like so, and then zip tie them. Okay, now that I slowed this down, let me go ahead and show you what we're dealing with. So we're now we're gonna put the shroud on. As you can see, I went ahead and made the, um, the line right here. Right there is the speed sensor. So it's gonna be hitting each one of these and every time it goes around, it's gonna be counting it, which is gonna give it its speed looped over. And it's coming right back down into the unit. Okay, now the only way to get this thing on is by spinning the wheel. At least that's the way I figured it out. So, let's go ahead and get started. Now, spin the wheel up. I'm going to remove the tension a little. There we go. Now, spin the wheel up. There we go. spin the wheel down there you go and that's about it it's not that hard it's just a little bit of flexing it now the way I personally like to do this because it's nearly impossible to get this thing perfectly situated is I actually like to put this one back in first
Okay, now that this screw is in, all these other ones can be thrown in. I'm just going to go ahead and finish this little one right here. Make sure to go very softly on it. You don't want to strip this out. And then the next, the top three. And then now that we did the, the three in here, I'm going to go ahead and do these three. We did two. This is the bottom one. And then now for the last back three. And now for the back two. And then the last screw is going to be this one right here. 